Um, Hi guys, the fix at NL asked whether I could make a tutorial on how to paint German soldiers, so here it is. Uh, you will need some clippers, a craft knife, files, there's a flat, a round and a triangular one there. Um, they're all useful. Some plastic glue, some brushes, so there's a fine detail one, a standard one and also a dry brush. Um, you will also need some soldiers. I'm using World of Games German Infantry. Um, you will also need some primer. Now I use Army Painter, so I've got the uniform grey there and the varnishes for when the models are completed. Uh, you'll also need some barbarian flesh for the hands and faces. Uh, uniform grey in case you need to top up anywhere. Um, the red and the white are just for the badges and insignia. Um, the dark tone is for the wash. Then you'll also need uh, German grey for the helmet. Um, black for the webbing and weapons. Uh, the green grey is for the gaiters, flat brown is for the weapons and canteens. Uh, you've got the green brown is for some of the kit, the bread bag. Um, you've also got canvas which we use for, you can use that for the MP40 ammo pouches. Uh, then there's the military green, that's for the gas mask and mess tin. And then finally, um, there's a gunmetal grey, which we use as a dry brush on the weapons. Um, you'll also need some basing glue. Um, and I use Army Painter Black Battleground for the rocks. And then just to give it a bit of a grassy texture, I use some green flock. And also twist a bit of the razor wire around and put a bit of barbed wire effect okay so I'll be back um, to make up some of the miniatures and we'll go from there so inside the German infantry box you get this uh, handy sheet to tell you how to put everything together um, it tells you all the kit on one side and then on the other side you have the body positions the only thing really to watch with this is the arms so I've heard lots of people say cut out the arms as you need them and that's really good advice because the arms only work with certain weapons so uh, when I cut all my pieces I try and use the clippers and I clip away from the piece so just clip a piece out here and then I'll make sure that any mould lines or anywhere I've clipped I'm going to file away so I've got a nice flat surface um, okay, so I'll be back once I've cut out all the pieces for this miniature. Okay, so we're ready now. We've got all the bits and pieces to put this miniature together. Um, so just going to add a little bit of glue. Now, plastic glue actually melts the plastic. So you only need a bit on one piece of the plastic. And you don't really need too much. You can just use your fingers to clear away any bits you don't need. Uh, and then you just pop it where you want it. Um, so I'll be back when this minch is complete and then we'll get the other ones complete as well. Okay, so I like to do my miniatures in batches of five. Um, started another 10 man unit here. I've got um, an MCO with an MP40, um, a light machine gun, so it's an MG42 and there's the loader so i've stuck uh, an ammo box on him there uh, i've also got a guy with a panzerfaust and a rifle strapped to his back and finally uh, another rifleman who's holding a stick grenade uh, so next stage is to prime these guys um, with the uniform grey and i'll be back when we've done that okay so it's time to spray the miniatures with the um colour primer, the uniform grey, it's an army painter one. Um, the trick with this really is um, obviously to be in a well ventilated room but also um, to put on fine coats and stay quite a long way back because you can always add more. Um, I made the mistake with my first miniatures of getting really close up and spraying them too much and you just lose all the detail. So go fine, um, 
little um, sprays like this. I usually put about three on and then turn them a bit, try a different angle. So we'll be back when these are all coated and then they'll be ready for their first um, coat. Okay, so miniatures are now sprayed and they're all ready to go. And it's got a nice fine coat on there. Um, I use when I'm painting, I just use a little takeaway box um, so that I can put water in one side and then mix the paints in the other. It's quite useful uh, and really cheap. All you need is the cost of a microwave meal. Um, then I'm going to start with the Barbarian Flesh, just so I can do the hands and faces. So I'm going to put a little bit in the tub. Now, depending on the paint, you might need to mix a bit of water with it. Barbarian Flesh is usually quite runny anyway, but I'm going to just put some in. So I'm going to use a standard brush to start with, put a little bit of paint on, and just squeeze that ready. And first base coat you can be really quite rough with it you don't have to get into the detail too much because you can always come back again the main thing is though don't put too much on um, so if it's looking like it's obscure in the detail just take some off with the brush it's better to go too thin and then come back and uh, put another coat on than go too heavy and obscure all the detail because these miniatures are, are really nicely detailed and it's a shame to do that. Um, so I'll be back when I finish basing all these and we'll have a look at them then. Okay so the base coat is on the miniatures now and what I'm going to do now is just go back and um, correct any mistakes. So I'm going to use the fine detail brush and um, just put a little bit of paint in each one and then go back over. Things to watch really are the underside of helmets, so going in and doing that, helmet straps, and just where you've overrun on paints. You can also go back and do camouflage. So I did a canvas with a poncho on the back, so I'll just go in and tick in some of the military green and the flat brown. Um, things like the uh, bolts on the rifles and the front bit there and the triggers, if you just go back in and do that in a black. Uh, so yeah, it's just kind of going back over and correcting. Um, well, the Panzerfaust, I did that in the, the same colour, the green-brown as the bread bag. Um, so I'll be back when I finish that. Hi okay, guys, uh, so the miniatures are now completely base coated. Uh, I've been through and gone round and just tidied them up wherever they need to be tidied. Um, just use the the military green and the flat brown just to make the um, canvas schmock look a little bit like it's camouflaged. Um, so now I'm going to go back over and I'm going to use the um, dark tone to give them a wash. And I think this is probably what gives them that sort of colour, makes them look like they've been in action. So I'm going to put a little uh, squeeze of that in there in my mixing pot and then can use the, uh, the standard brush, a bit of water, mix it in so it's quite runny. And then I'm going to go take a miniature and I'm just going to paint over. And then that's going to run into all of the, the creases all over. Uh, so I'll do that for all of them. And then I'll be back when they've all had a coat of the dark tone. Okay guys, so... The uh, Germans are now washed and that's all run into the recesses so now it's just time to add some detail so I'm going to dry brush the weapons uh, to do that I'm going to use the dry brush brush uh, I'm going to put a little bit on the brush and then take it off on here so that it's only just visible and then drag it across the weapon and it will just stick to all the raised areas. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now and I'm also going to add the insignia to the Germans and I'll be back after that. 
Hey guys, so I've um, added the insignia to the soldiers and uh, this is the little NCO badge here. Um, I've also dry brushed the weapons so they're all ready now to base. Um, so to do that I'm going to put a bit of the basing glue on the bottom. Um, Army painter. I'm going to paint that in with the standard brush and I'm going to dip it in here. I'm also going to add um, some green flock to give it some grass effect and um, also some barbed wire which I just twist around um, a brush and then glue on with some super glue. So I'll be back when that's done and then we'll be nearly at the last stage. Okay guys so the miniatures have been based I've added some flock and some razor wire. Um, now I'm going to varnish them with the um, Arm Painter anti shine It's really important to give this a good shake. I've been shaking it for a while. Um, but you need to shake it for about 30 seconds. Just make sure you follow the instructions. Uh, and then it's the same as when we um, coated it up, when we put the primes on really. So try and keep a long way away. Um, just a few passes with each one. And this will take some of the shine off the miniatures as well. Um, which you get with the wash and particularly if you use a dip um, you get quite a lot of shine with that as well and it gives them a nice matte effect um, so don't need to go too mad that should do it okay so that's the miniatures finished uh, they're all varnished which is taking the shine away and that will also protect them on the tabletop so they won't chip um, so if you like this video, um, please subscribe and I'd like to hear any comments you have, anything you'd like to see. Um, I've also on my channel uh, got some battle reports and some of the other miniatures I've painted if you wanted to take a look.